Welcome to the Succulent Home, guys. And I have a succulent haul, and I'm gonna pop one of these up in this video. But I have a succulent haul with all of these. Do you see all of these little beauties here? Well, I finally got to get to the Lowe's, and this is what I picked up. Look at this one. She needs a little bit of some water, but this is the first one that I got. This is called the Gasteria Little Warty. This is a Gasteria Hybrid. Do you see that? So beautiful, so luscious. She is a little dehydrated because I haven't watered her since bringing her home, but I'm gonna pop this one up today in this little pot, I believe. I think it'll be perfect in how it grows. I think it'll just have such a good touch to that. So let's go ahead and put this one to the side in the back because we are gonna pop that one up. We're just gonna pop that one up after. I show you all of these beautiful girls. I got the Haworthia Symbiformis. The Haworthia Symbiformis, yes. Look at how gorgeous. Do you see that? I love how it looks like very translucent in some parts. You can see there's some babies, some offshoots coming through, and these were only $3.95. $3.95 or $4.95. The next one I got, I wanted to add some to my collection that I, I don't have, you know what I mean? Like I told you, there's a lot that I lost. It's not like I had a whole lot of a collection, but what I was already on a good roll with, pretty much I had to toss. Because once millibugs get out of hand and you've already tried to treat them and it's just over, it's, it's over. It is, it's exactly what I just said, over. <laughs> so here's the fairy washboard. It's a Horthia lumifolia. So this is another gorgeous one. I have a zebra aloe, which is a horothea too, I believe. Um, but this one looks different because it's not a very like prominent white line. You see the grooves, but it's not a different color. It's the same color as this, as, as this fairy washboard. There's some offshoots right here, but that is just another lovely, gorgeous one. Okay. This next one I got was the string, oh, that was a bug, of buttons. This is a Crassula perforata. This is a Crassula perforata string of buttons. It's a native to South Africa. Isn't that gorgeous? I thought this was so pretty and I don't have these, but I do see a lot of my succulent friends who use these in arrangements. I just love how gorgeous they look. Last but not least with this particular haul, I got the Ming Thing. That's what it's called, Ming Thing. And doesn't it just look like something under the sea? It is just gorgeous. And I'm gonna be doing another desert themed cactus arrangement so I'm gonna save this one for that because I think it would look just so beautiful yeah so that's what we got as far as the haul from Lowe's just a little one that I got and I am happy with my selection so let's go ahead and move on to like planting or potting up this one. Go get your pot guys, go get everything that you know you need to pot up with me because we are gonna have some fun together, okay? Like I don't wanna just be the only one having fun by myself. This definitely needs a big drink of water. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour some water in this just so it can get some really good water while it's sitting right here. And I will get some soil and a little screen because this does have a big hole right here and we don't want all the soil coming out. I 
have a lot of exciting upcoming things that are transpiring in my life, guys. And I can't wait to finally tell you. But the expense is killing me. But it's just not the time yet. Just not the time. Okay, so I got the screen. For those of you who do not know or if you're new to my channel, I do all things succulents and home decor. And I love to inspire as I get inspired while we're potty. This is a screen I got from 99 cent store. It's what you would use in the drywall if you were patching up a hole in your house. I seem to work good with this because it's already sticky on one side. You just cut it and you just place it over the hole. Easy peasy, so easy. And um, the soil that I'm using today is the typical soil that I always use from Kellogg's. It has already a really good mix. Let me just show you up and close what it looks like. This is what the soil looks. You see some of the like little wood chips. You see pumice in here. You see um, a little bit of some soil, but you see little minerals, little rocks in here. So this is a perfect blend. This is why I like it. It's not overly chunky when it comes to the, like the little wood chips, but it's just enough to give it some good drainage. I used to pre-mix my soil a lot, but I feel like I was, it, honestly, this mix has it all in there. So it was kind of like a waste of time and a waste of money, so. Here we go. It had a nice soak, which it needed. Look at that rooting system. Really good, nice roots going on, which I'm really excited that um, it's pretty rooted because now now I'm in here and I can just do this. I'm not gonna try to break it up too much. It's perfect because I watered it. So now you can see the soil is just going to like kind of, like I'm just kind of pinching it down to break it up a little bit. Just pinching it down. It's nice and soaked. Pinching it down on this side. I want to pack it all the way in. Just going to add a little bit more soil on the top here. I just love this because it's so unique, so different. I didn't have it and I believe it's called the little warty because of the texture on the leaves. The texture on the leaves right here is very rough, um, not sharp, but it's very, like you could definitely feel that there's a dish, it's not a smooth texture. Um, not as rough as sandpaper, but it is got that little lumpy feel to it. So I, that's why they probably nicknamed it Little Warty. And again, this is a Gasteria hybrid. You see all those different colors, the lime, the lime green, the dark green. It's just so beautiful. Packing this in, packing this in, packing this in. And I'm gonna add a little bit of some water just on the top because I didn't water it in a long time, but at the same time, I just watered it. And so I don't want all the dry soil to just to dry out and soak up all of the water that it was just, that was just in it.
Yes. Go. Happy with it. I can see the soil. The water's already starting to come out of the soil. That is probably not the best move. It is wood, Melissa, that you're working on. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am going to put a little top dressing to this. But doesn't that just look so cute? I'm just going to pack it in just a little bit more because I want it to be in there pretty deep. It's been really hot around here. So my little babies have been really thirsty. Really, really thirsty. Okay. So we're done with that. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Now, I'm going to add some of these white rocks. It's done dripping. There you go. I know you're probably gonna see some of the dirt still, but that's okay. Something a little different, because I've been doing a lot of those like smaller rocks. Does anybody watch period movies? Like the movies like on PBS? I am like obsessed. I love watching like Queen Victoria and like um, just Renaissance. I love just that whole time. I love what they used to wear. I just love it. it wasn't the best of times. They definitely were. There was definitely a hierarchy in how they lived and how they treated people, but I like those, um, I like those movies. Pride and Prejudice is one of my favorites. Anyone who's never watched Pride and Prejudice, you guys, go watch it. Okay, now I'm just like kind of cleaning up because I feel like dirt. hair all in there. Okay. So there you go. Now it's going to look a little bit more plumped and luscious as it grows because I just watered it and it definitely needed it. It definitely did. So note to self, I need to come out here just a little bit more in order to like make sure this is getting the water that it needs. Love it. Well, comment below if there is another like mid-century period piece TV show. Maybe it's on Hulu, Prime, whatever it's on, PBS. Let me know because I would love to look at a new one. Because once I get hooked, I get hooked. 
Well, until the next video, guys, God bless. Bye.